Hey Divi Nation, thanks for coming by our documentation to learn about Divi's video modules. So you're probably familiar with the fact that within WordPress you can copy and paste a URL from most popular uh, video hosting services and it'll display on your website automatically, which is awesome, but it doesn't have the same design and customization options that Divi's video module has, which can be really powerful and allow you to get super creative with how you display videos on your website. So we're gonna show you how to do all of that in this documentation video. Check it out. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of Divi's video module. Adding videos to your web page is really simple using this video module. Uh, it allows you to embed videos from different sources and you know it allows you to add certain customizations to it like a custom thumbnail image overlay uh, or a play button. Uh, customization there to match your site. It also just creates this cleaner style for your embed. So it's a, a great option uh, for displaying your videos. And let's go ahead and take a closer look at the module. Let's go ahead and check out the settings for our video module here. You'll see that under the content tab, I have a spot to enter um, my URLs for my video. Uh, since I'm embedding a YouTube video, I simply need to get the, the URL from YouTube and paste it in this first input box here, labeled uh, video mp4 slash URL. Um, since I am using a YouTube video embed, I can also generate, if I wanted to, a, a an image from my video. This will allow me to uh, not only have a custom uh, overlay image, but also give me the capability of adding that nice uh, play button that I can also customize. If I don't want to generate it from the video, which is a nice quick option, I can uh, customize my own image and upload it uh, here. So if I go to my uh, upload uh, in my media gallery here, just pick an image and then upload that image to serve as my uh, overlay. And there you go. Uh, that's another option. Um, I could also um, add a self-hosted video. Let's say I don't want to use a YouTube. I have my own video that I've you know, uh, uploaded to my WordPress uh, site, or maybe I'm hosting it on Amazon S3 and I have the URL for that. You will need two types, uh, two files, in order to have the best cross-browser functionality uh, or display for your video. You'll need an MP4 and an, a WebM file of your video, and you can paste them uh, or upload them here. So uh, if I go to upload and then I can find my MP4 file, enter it there, and then uh, my WebM file of the same video. With both of those, I'll have the best cross-browser support. And uh, since I am using uh, my self-hosted videos, I won't be able to do this uh, quick little generate from video. I will need to upload my own image here um, to serve as my overlay if I wanted to. If I didn't have the overlay, um, you can see that my video um, would be not as clean looking and it wouldn't have my, um, my custom little uh, play button as well. So we want to keep that uh, custom overlay there. It looks nice. Uh, let's go to our design tab. Let's see what other customizations we can make. Under the design tab, uh, you can change the color of your play icon here to match the style of your site, which is a great option. And uh, some of the more you know common settings that you'll find in most of your modules, like sizing, changing the width of your module, the spacing, and of course, adding an animation style to the module. All right, let's go ahead and save this out and you'll notice um, if I save my page and let's go ahead and see what this looks like 
on the live site, our video um, display. Um, as you hover over the, the video, um, the overlay image is uh, a little darker. That way it makes the play button pop. And if I click play, you'll see the video um, automatically play. All right. And there's your overview of the video module.